Okay, welcome back to this uh, Authenticating Users Tutorial Part 3. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just check that the password that the user's entered is the same as the, uh, uh, sorry, is valid for that user that's been selected. Now we've already selected uh, the user um, and we've checked its position. So that we're assuming the user's made a selection and its index position has been put into this global index variable. Now what we need to do is to check that index variable against the user password's index position. So what text is in the same index position. We're going to do that with an if then else block. Okay, so here we go. So if, you know, put a little else on there as well, because if it's invalid we want to tell them. And we're going to need an equals, so grab one of those. And we're going to just check that the password text box one text which they should have entered is in the same index position so let's find the password text box one dot text there it is there so what have they entered in that password text box one is it equal to what we expect it to be in that position so we need a list select for this and we're going to use this one here this is very important because if you like this is the core of this chunk of program we're going to check the list item from the passwords list so uh, that's going to be in that get global password so we need to grab that first of all so we'll do a get global passwords because that's where it is and we're also going to need to see the position we're going to find the position of, of it in there and we use that global index now in order to do that so we do a get global index so there we are pop that in there so is the text in in that they've entered the same as the one in, in the position for that user in the passwords field if it is, then uh, way hey, they're in. The, the login is successful, so let's tell them that. We're going, yep, valid user. So, valid user. Okay, and if it's not, then the password is incorrect. So, password is invalid. Okay, so we'll do those. We'll check that now. And if it all works, then we're done. So connect, emulator, and let's see what happens. Okay, so names are back this time first, and then our passwords are back. Okay, so we've got a, a user list, so uh, select our user, user one, user two, user three, let's go for user two. Um, I don't need that on screen keyboard. And um, we know that the password in position 2, index 2, is P2. So if I enter P2 and select log on, we should get our valid user alert. And there it is. Excellent. Of course, to test this, we need to check for an invalid one. So random letters, log on, password invalid for that user. Finally, let's just select another user, user 3. Enter a valid password for user 3, which we know is P3, because that's the third one in our list. Log on, valid user. Uh, log on with nothing in there. Select user and enter password, because there's nothing in there. That's all working fine. Enter an invalid password. Password invalid. Excellent. So it's all working as intended, with a little bit of uh, error trapping in there as well. OK, that concludes the tutorial for authenticating users. It's really important that you uh, get to grips with what this chunk of uh, code is doing here. As I said, you must know what this select list item list is doing and index is doing. So have a play with that and good luck. Bye.